Katarina and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. This video is going to be a review, swatches, and a demo of the new Hard Candy Natural Eyes Palette. They do have a couple different ones in the stores and if you don't know, Hard Candy is, I believe, exclusively sold at Walmart. So you can get this guy at Walmart, retails for $8 and I believe it comes in three different shades. So I chose the neutrals because I felt like those were just gorgeous. But yeah, so let's jump in. First things first, let's talk about the packaging. It comes in like this tin case that is actually magnetic as well, so it's pretty sturdy and very travel friendly, I think. It's not too big and bulky. On the back, they give you like three different looks that you can create with this. Of course, you can create so many different looks using this palette, but they give you three different options, which I thought was pretty cool. But let's jump inside. On this side, you get a mirror right here and then a little pamphlet of, again, the different kind of looks that you can create and how to do them. And then on this side, you get a little eyeshadow primer. This is their best-selling eyeshadow primer. You also get an eyeliner, um, a little sponge brush, and then your shadows right in here. So I posted a picture on Instagram, which I'll insert right here, and a lot of people hadn't really seen this because it did recently just come out. Um, Hard Candy just released a lot of new products, so I got my hands on a couple of them, and I wanted to do some reviews for you guys after I've used them for a little bit. In this palette, you get four matte shades and then five kind of shimmery, glittery, and satin shades. <laughs> And I have to say, right off the bat, I really prefer the matte shades over the glitter shades. The pigmentation is so much better on the matte shades. To create the eye look I did today, I only used some of these shadows in here, which I'll insert demos while I'm talking about them and everything. My eyes, I went and I started with the eyeshadow primer, which you guys, it does crease a little bit. Um, and I, I'll try and show the clip of after I put it on and I let it sit for a second because I was getting everything together. It does kind of crease on your eyes, which is no good. You do not want your eyeshadow primer to crease because the whole point of it is to prevent creasing from eyeshadows. Other than that, it's very silicone based and it does go on like a flesh tone color, but when you blend it in, you can't really see that color. It kind of blends in to be a clearish color. And in with this matte kind of off-white cream shade, which I love. This shade is gorgeous, you guys. Very pigmented, very smooth and buttery feeling. I really, really like that one. I went with that all the way from lid all the way up to the brow bone. Kind of set the eyeshadow primer as well as also create a nice kind of blank base for everything. And I did a very simple, neutral, soft eye because that's what I feel like you can achieve best with this. And then you can lightly smoke it out. So then after that, I went in with this really light matte brown shade. And I used this as my transition slash crease shade. This, again, is an awesome... Um, transition shade. It is so beautiful. I find myself reaching for this palette specifically for this shade when I'm doing looks with other um, eyeshadows and makeup palettes because this shade is phenomenal. I decided to go in with this kind of pearly champagne color and I put that, I use my fingers because I find with the shimmery shades you want to use your fingers as opposed to a brush. That way you can achieve the most pigmentation. So I use my finger and I place this all over the lid area just to kind of brighten the eyes and make them look more awake and wide open. And I struggled getting pigmentation like you guys will see. I had to really build it up. I used this kind of more kind of rose gold shade on the outer portion just to create some depth with my eye, some dimension so it's not all just like one flat color. And then I went in with this kind of deeper matte shade and I used a smaller blending brush and I deepened out my crease area, kind of defined that area um, again so that there was just more depth and dimension in my eye. And then I mix these two shades right here, one matte deeper dark brown and then one kind of deep ashy brown with gold flecks in it. And I put that with a small liner brush and just kind of smudge that on my lash line and also brought it on the bottom as well. I avoided using these two shades today just because um, these are very warm shadows compared to everything else and today I was going for more of a cool tone look. But these two, again, you'll see in the swatches... They swatch nice, but again, you do have to build them up, and I think that applying with your finger is the best way, unless you want to apply with a liner brush and really, like, do a close to your lash line. Then use the Hard Candy Liner, and I've been using this actually ever since I got it. In multiple tutorials, you've probably seen it. I love this stuff. It is very creamy and black. It has such a nice um, lasting powder. It's very long-lasting, and it's pretty waterproof as well for the sheer fact that you can put it on your waterline, because you guys know I've been looking for eyeliners that I can put on my waterline that won't irritate my eyes, and this has been amazing. So I love using this to tight line. I use it literally like every single day to tight line, and this is a really good liner. I want to buy the full size of this. Now let's just jump into the swatches. I'm going to just go from kind of top this way in three. So I'm going to do these three, these three, and then these three. 
here are the first three swatched on my hand. These ones swatch pretty good because they are all matte. At the end, I'll go ahead and do a close-up shot of everything as well. Here are the next three swatched. You can see the first two were pretty hard to get some pigmentation out of. Um, they barely show up, but just enough to do a really light wash of color on your eyes. Not too impressed with these two shades. And then here we have the last three shades. These ones are actually pretty pigmented. I'm pretty happy with these ones. And of course, that matte shade, this guy right here, is just stunning. It's like what I love about this whole palette. It's my favorite shadow. Final thoughts, you guys. Do I think it's worth picking up? It's another eyeshadow palette at the drugstore or at Walmart in this case. And I think for $8, I mean, you're getting a lot. And I personally do think it's worth $8 because maybe you won't use all the shades in this palette. Maybe you're not going to love all the shades. But there's enough of them in here that you can create wonderful looks or they're really good... Um, combining shades so you can use a different palette and then th these have beautiful transition and crease shades in here again the mattes are my favorite they are so stunning and smooth and buttery feeling that and you get that primer and you get the eyeliner that I do think it's worth eight dollars had they gone over the ten dollar mark maybe not hey right, guys so that completes this video I really hope you enjoyed it and please give it a big thumbs up if you did also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye